this is a very interesting topic about, especially, um, you know, the Japan come out with this called Tanshiri. Tanshiri, uh, actually in Japan, they call decluttering and minimalist, right? So actually, what is it about? So actually, before that, I tried to Google search to get a proper uh, definition of that. But somehow, I found it's a tool formal. So I just uh, make it short and simple. So it shows that it clear the unnecessary, remove the excess from life and help simplify everyday life. So there's nothing better than a clean, organized and simple home. The act of decluttering can be an emotional process for many people. However, as we remove the excess from our life, no matter what area, we begin to see that a simpler, slower, quieter life offer far more lasting value than a life that never stops. So what do you learn in this workshop? You're going to take away the diamond of today. Why decluttering? How to study? And do you know why we always unable to do decluttering? And what is it the impact of clutter on one's life? So today, we are honored to bring you the Abundance Coach. She not only inspired thousands of people, her Ushan method in life decluttering had empowered and inspired life while uplifting the quality of life and living in abundance and joy. Her story attracted media come to her. She was being interviewed and featured in TV2 about her life story from decluttering surrounding to decluttering soul. She also invited to speak globally at Nanhua University of Taiwan. She is now having 5,100 members in her decluttering Facebook group. And she successfully launched her decluttering courses and workshop. So let's bring out our speaker of today, Ushan Cha. Hi. Hello, Ushan. Hi. Hi, Yuki. Hello. Hi, everyone. Good evening to everyone. And I'm glad to see you guys. Uh, if you open the uh, video, I'm glad to connect with you. So hi, everyone. I'm Ushan Chia. And I'll be the speaker and the sharer of today's webinar. So let's give it uh, another 30 seconds uh, to settle down. And uh, let's fill up and say hi to each other. So can you let me know that where are you guys come from? Can you type in the chat? Where are you guys come from? Okay, let's see. We have people from Penang, Kuala Lumpur, Charas, PJ. Yes, yes, Seremban, Sungai Bulo. Okay, mostly from Malaysia. Okay, great. So I'm looking at uh, two, two, one PC and one handphone right now. Okay, good. So I think the rest of you are coming mostly from Malaysia because I can see that more me messages from KL, Penang, PJ. And uh, okay, good, good, awesome. Okay, so um, welcome to the program today. And I'm going to share with you my entire decluttering journey during my downturn in life that it actually helped me to awaken my life. And uh, let me just quickly explain why this webinar is going to be different from all the others, others uh, the, the same decluttering webinar out there. Okay, because chances are there are a lot of training out there about decluttering. Do you agree? How many of you have experienced uh, uh, you know about decluttering? If you know about decluttering, you give me a one. If you never heard of it, give me a zero. Okay? Okay, quite a lot of you are, uh, didn't hear about that. Okay, so I'm wondering what is the intention and uh, purpose are you joining tonight? I'm going to share a lot with you about my story and how decluttering actually uplift my life. Okay, awesome, awesome. 
So uh, there's a lot, if you, if you go and do some Google search, you discover that a lot of people sharing about decluttering. Some guru are teaching you how to declutter your stuff, your home, maybe your office, even your wardrobe and all that kind of stuff. But the reason why this is going to be different tonight, because I'm going to covering all aspects on how I actually embark on my uh, this, this decluttering journey whether you want to receive your abundance, be prosperous, be peaceful, be joyful, I'm going to share this with you. So how many of you would like to be prosperous and uh, be embark on the journey of um, uh, prosperity, embark on the journey of abundance by doing decluttering? Can I have, uh, you, you can type in number one, okay? So good, I'm going to share with you how decluttering actually transform many of our life where you'll be understand, just like what uh, Yogi mentioned just now, you'll be understand and learn about how to receive abundance. How many of you would like to receive more abundance in life? You type in one, okay? You'll be understand how important is decluttering in our, our life, okay? You can type in two understand the important if you learn so many things but end up uh you you feel that when you want to practice it sometimes you procrastinate it this is also related to decluttering later okay i'm going to discover a lot of tips for you to do your practical later okay how many of you would like to receive tips on how to start decluttering within a minute Okay, because some people, when they talk about decluttering, it's like decluttering must be a big project. Okay, I'm going to share with you the tips on how to start decluttering within a minute. Okay, you type in three. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm also will share with you what are some of the reasons why people do not declutter. Okay, and i going to share with you my very personal life story that let me experience the impact and also the beauty of declutter in my life. Okay, how many of you are ready? If you are ready, type in yes. Okay, type in yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so many of you. Uh, thank you for your, for your energy, your positive energy. It, it, it's, it's actually make me, you know, wanted to share more with you. Okay, good. So decluttering your home and activate your decluttering in your body, mind, and soul. So today we're going to talk about this and you heard me loud and clear. So we have these three major important elements in this webinar tonight. So in order to activate this, of course, people like you in this webinar, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you need to know. This is the real practice how to decluttering and free yourself if you want to have more peacefulness, more feel more light in, in, in your life. Like I say, I'm going to share with you some of the system and method that I use to start decluttering, okay? Based on the practical and not just theory, all right? Ready to kickstart, okay? If ready, type in okay. Good. Okay, so now, um, before we, we begin, right, I want to thank you. Of course, I want to thank uh, Signature Market and Yuki for such a wonderful coordination. And today, we also have Nicholas and some of my team members as well. So I, I would not disappoint you guys and I will do everything in my power to make you understand how you can discover the easier way to achieve your decluttering goal and make it worth your time while spending your time with me tonight, okay? I will also like you guys to set some expectation today and have the beginning with and mind and in mind, just like setting a goal. Okay, I want you to ask you, if you attend this decluttering tonight, at the end of the day, how, you, how would you like to uh, foresee your environment after decluttering. You may start to do some visualization right now, okay? 
think about what's your goal today. Well, uh, for me, my goal for you today is by the end of this webinar, you will get all the bonuses and all the tips that we shared just now. And you can kickstart your decluttering journey to activate your ab abundance and uplifting your life the way you want it to be just after this webinar, okay? Can we have a deal, yes or yes? You can type in in the chat, yes, thank you. Thank you so much, okay, now. So I believe that you want to make most out of this webinar and I strongly urge you to close all your tab to silent your phone and get your pen and paper right now and give me your 100% attention during the next 50 minutes. Okay, before we get, before we, um, let's do some simple exercise to start with this decluttering journey. Let's start with a three breathing exercise, three, inhale and exhale okay when you inhale you feel so much peacefulness in you when you exhale you are actually release all your tension your anxiety okay awesome okay let's do it inhale exhale inhale and exhale okay inhale and exhale okay so we have we uh yuki already mentioned about some simple rules and the regulation for today so um be open-minded as well and i want you to participate because the more you participate, the more energy I have and I'll share more with you, okay? I also want you guys to take action. During the exercise, you will experience some very special moment. You, you will actually have some experiential learning during this journey, okay? So um, let me start to share with you how I make my decluttering journey and how I actually, through decluttering, activate my abundance. Okay, so um, actually decluttering have free myself from anxiety, depression, and I feel much more peaceful. And, and, and right now, I enjoy my life with much more inner joy. As you can see today, this is me, very simple lady. I can't tell you my age, of course. <laughs> okay, so you, you can guess in the chat, okay? So today, my life is so simple and yet comfortable. I had kickstart my uh, minimalist journey. So money is not no longer a uh, challenging issue for me. But in the past, I was working so hard. Um, I was putting so much effort in chasing money, you know. So right now, my life is slightly very, very different. Everything that you've been listening seems to be very smooth for me, isn't it? But that isn't, that isn't the same. That, that isn't uh, the case in the past. So it got, it's all got started with my story a few years back, where way back in uh, 2017, uh, or even slightly earlier, where my career, my relationship, my financial um, situation, my health, everything seems to come uh, to an end. Thank you for those who guess my age is only 27. <laughs> I'm going to, do I need to buy you more signature market product <laughs> as a gift? Okay. Okay. So um, I, I just want to share with you a few years back, my life wasn't the same. I have this, I, I had a very, you know, I, I had a very darkest moment in my life where I was almost in the depression. I remember there's, um, there's, there's a period of a, a time where I can't even speak as my health is challenging me. I had a very serious coughing, um, till asthmatic. I, I'm not that kind of person that having asthma. 
but I call for more than 100 overs day. And until I need to go and um, do the spray, just like someone having asthma. So that there was series of all this series of incident that happened in my life. But this incident that shaped me a belief. If thing doesn't work out for me, I really have to change. I remember that's one night where in the middle of the night, I cough until so, so, so difficult in breathing. I feel like I almost lost my life. I, I still remember the in the middle of the night is about 3 a.m. plus where I where, where I feel so so sad that um my my situation and my health issue and um I decided at the moment where I almost lost my breath um suddenly I have this this mind just cross cross over that telling me that I'm not going to uh, continue this suffering anymore. So I started to make a decision that I want to transform my life and I do not want to have continue the suffering journey anymore. So that moment, I started to think of um, what happened if my passed away immediately. I have so much stuff and I used to be a... Uh, uh, they, they call it hoarder. Hoarder is someone that always collected and always accumulate a lot of stuff in, in life. So when, when all this incident happened, so I, I, I was actually wondering what's happening to my life. So I started to embark on my healing journey and I started to embark on my life awakening journey. So I remember that time, my actually, I, I have a special assistant who shared with me a video. The video actually shared about how minimalists transform other people's life. And I look at how simple their life is. So I decided to practice. So that's the moment um, immediately after that, the next day, I decided to declutter my life, not declutter the stuff, you know. I, I decided to declutter my life. Then I started with my clothes, uh, my books. So later I'm going to share some of the photo, but be more open-minded because uh, this is something very, very, very personal to me. Can I have your, uh, can, can I have your promise to be open-minded? If yes, can you type in open? Yes, can if. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, I'm going to share with you my, you know, uh, just now I mentioned that, you know, I, I was in very uh, depressed and my relationship came to an end. So I uh, decided to start my minimalist uh, journey. So right now, I want you to experience a moment I do a demo to you, but you follow after me, okay? You follow after me. So I want you to, uh, firstly, you start to take a deep breath. Then later, after you exhale, later we will not inhale, we will not exhale anymore. You will just continue to breathe in, breathe in, breathe in until you cannot breathe. In, is my instruction clear? If clear, you give me a number number three. Okay, if yes. So we're going when I when I say start, we're going to inhale and continue inhale. I just want you to feel the feeling while you continue inhaling without exhale. Okay. Okay, let's start. Inhale, continue inhale, and inhale, continue until you cannot inhale anymore. You hold your breath, and I want you to experience 
your emotion, your feeling. And if there is any thought in mind, I want you to aware of your thought. Okay, good. Right now, exhale. Okay, can anyone share with me? How do you feel? Okay, yeah, breathless, anxiety. Yes, exactly. Almost suffocate. Okay, what else? Yeah, panic, exactly. Okay, feel like vomit, going to burst out. It's like so uncomfortable. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your feedback. So now, this is exactly what I want you to experience. Can you imagine? If let's say in life, we are only, you know, getting more stuff into our life. We go and buy more things. We have more equipment, uh, whatever we, um, we need or we do not need. We just go and grab it and add into our life. Don't you experience just now, whatever we experience is actually the similar, similar situation. Do you feel that? So in life, we have to be balanced. Whatever in, it has to be out. Just like we breathe in, we need to breathe out. We inhale, we need to exhale. So if let's say the more the, the more stuff you are welcoming them into your life without decluttering it. So you might feel anxiety. You might feel panic, suffocate. You might feel, you know, you, you might feel uncomfortable. You might feel overwhelmed. Did you experience something very important just now? If yes, give me a high five. Type in number five. Okay. Did you experience something very, very, very important? So this is what I call experiential learning. If today you never receive, re, re, you can't remember even one sentences in my sharing, also doesn't matter as long as you remember this experience, okay? So now I'm going to share with you after this uh, breathing as, exercise, I want you to start to look at your house. Maybe your house doesn't look like this. This is some, um, some people, they, 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 they don't really decluttering their house. Their house might be getting messy. So this is a photo before and after decluttering. Okay. Of course, this is a very, very old photo. You can see the energy is different. If you can see the energy is different, type in energy. Type in energy if you can feel the energy is different. Yes, thank you so much. And you can see this is before and after as well. Although he or she doesn't declutter much, but you also can see the energy is different. So sometimes why some of the people didn't welcome or didn't receive their abundance in life because they're having too much thing until they block the abundance energy that coming into their life. So I, I show you some other photo. Um, this is something I share in my Facebook where at the middle of the night, um, that night, you remember, I almost lost my breath. So I, I started to think if I'm going to die, so I don't want to, you know, create more troublesome for others. So I want my life to be simple. So I started to, you know, give away all my clothing. Within 10 minutes, you know, I can all dig out all the clothing that I, I didn't spark joy anymore. This is only 10 minutes, you know, you can look at the right hand side. Uh. You know, that time my wardrobe is like 13 feet, more than 13 feet. You can imagine, uh, I think my clothes is more than a small boutique, you know. It's, it's so crazy, isn't it? So, uh, so be open-minded. This, this was me in the past. So I'm going to share with you. So you, you see, if I, if I like white, if I like cream color, then I'll buy all the clothes huh, in white, you know. I always think that I'm, I'm, I'm an angel, then I like to wear white, then everything also white. <laughs> 
okay so i'm a collector i'm a accumulator you know so in the past you can imagine just like what you guys mentioned just now if someone didn't declutter i'm actually someone full of anxiety in the past and um uh, uh i i a bit depressed as well so when the moment i decided to declutter uh, later i will share with you how this declutter actually uplift my life so it, if you can see i'm i'm such a hoarder means collector accumulator so if is there anyone of you like me that you like to you know collect uh, or even if you do shopping you buy a lot of things if if yes you type in a h for me okay okay thank you thank you belinda thank you sunsia noli uh well, so many of you i can't even uh call out your name thank you so much okay so now i want to share with you do you know why that time i be a hoarder because inside me it was so empty it was so empty i don't really feel my inner joy so i actually um by you know by by spending money to get all this stuff it's actually i'm using all this to fill in the emptiness in me that is me so i do not know if you're having the similar situation um you you have to look in your in your inner self what is actually happening so if if someone having so much inner joy in life uh, usually he or she will not um so called be, being such a hoarder mood okay so um holding holding uh, is actually a consider a severe severe psychological disorder you know where a person gather all these excessive number of item and store them uh the reason of someone uh, like me in the past become a hoarder including uh maybe having some certain stress um maybe uh having this ocd and sometime and also environmental factor so i'm going to after after just now we we did the breathing exercise i hope you have a very very a uh, beautiful memory in future in future when you want to go and do shopping even right now uh, online you might so bored at home and you go and buy a lot of things on okay who having the experience can you type in shopping can you type in shopping for me okay if let's say you having this similar situation like me ah uh, so next time you remember you go and do the breathing exercise before you make your decision in buying anything okay okay so good thank you so much i i saw cherry and you know so many of you out there okay now i want to share with you about something about clutter so never estimate this clutter you know clutter sometimes it will actually over stimulate us it will divert our focus um and it also make us feel guilty and embarrassed for example if you live with anxiety right then you need uh your your life to be more more peaceful of course life isn't like that uh there's something we have to deal with but we can make sure that our surrounding are so calm and organized so i i show you some of the photo just now about Uh, I started to do my decluttering, my clothes, you know. Then I have a lot of books, you know. I think my books is also more than thousand plus books. Okay, so I started to give away my books to some of the students from different universities. Um, I I give my books to some of the Isaac member, so they are coming from uh, Vietnam. Um, I remember Indonesia. and also uh, uh, they they coming from different country so i'm my, my friend are doing a a, a small exhibition so i bring all my books there and i 
uh, deliver, I mean, I give away to all these students. And the last, um, the last book giving uh, activity, I give all my books, almost all, to, uh, to a company. Let them set up a library in the organization. So if you can see, uh, you know, buy books is so expensive, isn't it? Do you agree? If yes, you write books for me, okay? So when I'm giving all this, right, in the past, I never, never have this experience that experiencing the prosperity within me. Until the moment I give it away and I find, you know, I find the new owner for my clothes, I find the new owner for, for my books, I even, later I'm going to show you, even the kitchen utensil, um, at, at so many, so many things I give away. Some, I sell it. Some, I do it, uh, I, I mean, because some is so new. So some, I collect some fee in exchange of something. So I also turning some waste, uh, why I call it, why I call it waste? Because I, I didn't use it. So I turn the waste into gold. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. You see, I, I give away uh, things that I didn't use. I, I bring it to Kuru Kuru. Kuru Kuru is actually a concept of recycling. Uh, in, in Japan, right, uh, things that you did not, uh, you, you did no longer use, you can put in the shop there. Then other people can just visit the Kuru Kuru shop and they can just take whatever they need. Okay, so I bring a lot of, of my uh, belongings to, to Guru Guru. I also give it away. Then even any stationary holder here? Any stationary holder? Yes, if yes, you type in S, S for stationary. So you see how I declutter my life, you know, just how I ask you to be more open-minded because this look crazy, isn't it? Because this is, um. Some of the stationery uh, is actually in my center. I, I own a healing center in the past. So I, I need to conduct workshop and we do have, um, you know, art therapy session and things like that. So I, I buy a lot of uh, stationery just in case for them might need to uh, use during the event. Okay, so this is so crazy, isn't it? How many of you like me? Uh, I, I, I don't think so. Uh. So this is so embarrassed, but I'm willing to share with you. And uh, this is what happened in the kitchen, okay? So even the food, grocery, and you, you, you look at the container, okay? It, it's so crazy, isn't it? So I, I started to, yeah, thank you so much. Kitchen also, uh, we, we have a kitchen item holder here also as well. Then in the past, uh, I had so many high, uh, high pressure cooker, sandwich maker, teppanyaki, steamboat, uh, bread toaster, and all, it, you know, so much equipment, you know. Yeah, your pressure cooker is here. Uh. Okay. So now, you know, my life is so simple. I only use rice cooker. I can use rice cooker to stir, stir, stir fry. I use rice cooker to make cake. I use rice cooker to cook, uh, what else? Uh, to fry mihun. I'm so creative, you know. I can't imagine uh, I can be so simple right now. Okay, so uh, by looking, okay, by looking at this photo, uh, my life getting, getting simple and simple. I'm still in the journey of decluttering because in the past, I've been accumulate too much, okay? So now, uh, I, I just want to share with you, right? In the past, I'm such an anxious person because I didn't, you know, I, I don't even care about the environment. After I declutter, I right now no longer suffer with depression, no longer easily get triggered by certain things in, in life that make me feel like I'm losing all control. But clutter actually sim simply means uh, you, you do a collection of things lying in in an anxiety state. So if let's say if you're having anxiety or even you know you, you tend to be very easy to get moody, 
can you just type in A for anxiety, B for depression, um, maybe uh, moody, you can type in M, okay? So if having all this, um, so downward spirals energy, uh, it's time for you to start decluttering your environment. Because anything lying around, uh, they actually having energy. So if let's say you didn't go and declutter your surrounding, you are actually surrounding yourself with downward spiral energy. So decluttering will actually remove that stress and everything that remain, once you're done, you will actually have a proper place, proper environment. So this proper environment uh, is also including your mind. So when you tidy your home, you are actually tidy your mind. When you decluttering stuff, you are actually decluttering your mind and soul as well. Do you have the experience that after you do some sort of uh, decluttering, uh, you feel so happy one. Do you ever have the experience? Sometimes you're moody, then you go and do decluttering, then you, you feel fresh, happy. Yes, exactly, exactly. But do you ever discounter this? Uh? You moody, you go and declutter. After you declutter, you feel much more peaceful. But after a while, things get messy. Then you go and declutter. And this cycle continue and continue and continue. If you're having this, please type in a zero for me. If you're having this scenario, please type in a zero. It's like a circle turn round and round and round, <laughs> repeating and repeating. Yes, Tracy, I can see Xiaoying Kugan. Yes, exactly. So now, Please take note. This is something very important. If you give away, please make sure you stop there and never go and buy some substitute or alternative product. You, you know, to it is like to substitute whatever you give away. If let's say you give away and you continue shopping and you continue. Uh, go to the online shopping and add to cart, add to cart. Uh. Then in the same time, you also give away. This doesn't help much in your decluttering journey. Be um, some people think that decluttering uh, is about, you know, I, I, I just want to get it organized. But I want you to start from decluttering, start to kickstart your journey from the cutting upgrade to Dan Shari journey. What is Dan Shari? Dan Shari is actually no longer add in unnecessary item into your life and you give away whatever item that you do not need, uh, need anymore and you free yourself from this attachment, you know. So um, this is something I share with you. I, and, and this is actually uplift my life. And it, it, it's, it's, it's like a magic transformation for me, okay? So if you like to have this magic transformation, type in magic, okay? Type in magic, okay? Good, good, okay? Type in magic. So I started after I embarked on my decluttering journey, then only then I embarked on my Danshari and minimalist journey. It's actually, uh, that, that is a different stage and different transformation within. Of course, today we only cover the cutting. I hope in future we can share more in uh if, if let's say in future we, we still meet again, then I hope to share more. Uh, as Yuki mentioned just now, I'm now having about 5,000 plus members uh, also following me doing the cutting. I'm actually having a Facebook group. If you are interested to join me in the Facebook group later, please remind me to send you the link. Let me continue. Can I continue my sharing? Yes. If yes, type me a yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, so many of you. Okay, Belinda. I saw Eugene, Subashi, Angela. Those I didn't pronounce your name because the chat is like uh, moving too fast and I, I, I can't even read it. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, good. Now I'm going to share with you. 
after the decluttering journey, I started to feel relief and I feel abundance within, flowing within me. I never thought I have so much, you know, until when I started to give away. So um, if I can experience abundance within me, just by doing decluttering and finding the right owner for, for whatever stuff that I no longer need it. Because I didn't need it doesn't mean that other people didn't need it. So when I do my giveaway, uh, I even thanks to the thanks to an item. You can do this practice also. Okay. I give you the tips uh, to how to say to actually trigger your gratitude. Okay. You can say thanks to the item. And in the same time, you say thank you to the new owner for being willing to become the new owner. So I also apologize to the item before I give away because in the past, I've been neglecting the, the item, you know. I, I just want to, it's like, I, I just want to attach to it. I just want to possess it. But I, I don't really, you know, um, let, let the item, uh, how to say, uh, unleash his or her value, okay? So uh, do you learn something very important? If yes, type yes for me. So sometimes, especially during this uh, pandemic or if, if during this uh, COVID, you know, it's time for us to actually um, have the experience of uh, looking within us. We, everything is slowed down. It's time for us to actually, you know, take a deep look at ourselves as well. Okay. So by listening to my story, I guess you'll be able to receive some of the answer. So now have you find ways to turning the waste into gold? Okay, if yes, you help me to type in gold. Okay, have you turned waste into gold? Yes, thank you, he told me. Okay, thank you, Jasmine. Okay, thank you, Karin. And second, by listening to the story just now, I guess you received the tips how to start decluttering. Okay, and you can start in all area. You can start with clothes, kitchen, stationery, your books, even your, your main hall or your wardrobe. You can start anywhere, okay? Okay, so you also, right, uh, you also, um, how to say, you, you also can feel how decluttering is so important to you. Remember the breathing exercise? If you remember the breathing exercise, type in B, B, B for breathing. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So, after I say so much, uh, do you think that you can start decluttering right now? If yes, you give me an A for action. If no, you write me a no, N O. After I share already, do you think you can start decluttering immediately? Okay, let's do a very simple practice and exercise, okay? Okay, I want you to sit still. I guess you might be sitting, isn't it? I'm not sure anyone's standing and looking in the Zoom right now. Okay, if you are sit, sitting, I want to sit. I want you to sit still and uh, look around. I want you to turn left. I want, I want you to scan your surrounding, you know. Okay, turn right. Okay, look up and look down. You can even look back. I want you to find one thing, one thing that you no longer need it. Have you found it? If yet, have you spotted it? If yes, take it out, take it out. If yes, okay, then leave in the chat. More than one, yes, Nick, thank you. <laughs> Found so many things. Uh, am I pronounce your name correct, Hugen? Okay. Woohoohoo. Okay, yes, yeah, so many things, isn't it? Okay, later. Oh, a lot more. Huh? Okay, later. I want you to start with one. Because a lot of people think that decluttering is very, very big project. It, it might be, you know, um, it, it might be difficult. I must find a time to do it. No. I, I, that that's in my workshop, I share with people how to use decluttering to 
to clean their inner, uh, inner subconscious mind, decluttering their mind, decluttering your their their life. So this is one thing. I hope that this is one thing that you you can start take action immediately after the session. Okay. So um, so this is some of the tips uh, I share with you. Okay. But after leaving and by conducting so many, so many workshops, I discovered there's three types of people very, very difficult to do their declutting one. How many types of people? Can you type in how many types of people they are very, very difficult in kickstart their declutting journey? Okay, I'm, I'm going to share with you the first time is like me in the past, like a hoarder, okay? The second type of people is actually a voider. He or she, uh, the, the, you know, the messiness uh, is already reached wow. the big messiness already. So the big, the, 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 messiness, the, the messiness is already reached to the big. Uh, then they have, they, they, they just tend to avoid. They don't want to look at it. So they, they avoid to do the decluttering. I'm not sure whether, yeah, no, I see, uh, Nick say, okay? So I wonder whether are you in H, the horror type, or are you in the A type, which is a voider? Or are you, have, uh, are you in another, another type we call attacher? Attacher is someone who always like to attach to old memory, like to attach to um, the attachment in the past. So he or she doesn't want to let go the past memory, whether it's sad, whether it's beautiful. Okay, so you might more than one, more than one uh, personality that you, you're having challenges in decluttering by awareness, by awareness, by your awareness, if you're aware about yourself, then at least next time when you want to do the declutter, you know, huh, I'm being attached to the past. No, no, this, 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 I no longer use for many, many years. And uh, this I brought back from maybe your, your trip in uh, Spain, but this doesn't serve you anymore. It's time for you to give away to someone who need it. This is an example, okay? So by, by starting your decluttering journey, you actually can overcome your anxiety. Okay, I also share with you how to do it within a minute, isn't it? Just now by scanning around, you already start some of the item you can, you can actually start decluttering, okay? So remember, okay, remember you may want to jot down for, for your note. Start small. Don't go and do a very big area until you, 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 you feel anxiety. <laughs> when you do decluttering. Start small, just a small area, okay? Stop thinking about the process. Just do one by one, okay? Just do one by one. So decluttering, um, of course, it is a journey. Uh, it, it needs time. So please stop adding stuff into your life, okay? So start more. Then the second tip is do little and more often. You don't spend the whole day do decluttering. Maybe you just want to spend like 10 minutes or 15 minutes each day. So that keep your momentum. Trying to get the whole job done uh, in a very short period of time uh, will actually kill you, you know. You might be very high stress mood, okay? So you might get uh, anxiety attack, you know. So if you declutter too much uh, in one time, you must start somewhere. So this is the simple, simple tips. Um, you, you can just start at a very easily. You can start easily, okay? So this trick is actually do the small job, uh, do the small job, but deal with the excess. So you, you can give yourself a break, okay? Whenever you need it, okay? Always wait for the day to come. This is why some people cannot start decluttering. So when you start with, within a minute, you will actually keep the momentum. So now I want you to imagine. Uh, okay, you can close your eye. You can close your eye. 
and you can start imagine where you want to start decluttering. In your mind, you can just like you're doing a house, house tour. Okay, imagine how wonderful it will be after you start decluttering. Can you visualize the end goal? You have to know why you are doing this. In your mind, you have a vision, a perfect way to do that. Maybe in your mind, you look at the living room and how clean and tidy it will be after you do your decluttering. What will your bookshelf look like? What will be keep on the display? Can you see it? What about the kitchen? What does it look like? So you can visualize it. Visualize the end result will actually help you to motivate you and help you to keep your decluttering on track. Okay, now slowly you can open your eye. So next time, every time you feel overwhelmed by doing it, just close your eye and you can start picture the room or even picture the environment. Okay, who have a very beautiful or very wonderful experience by just visualizing just now? Okay, can you type in and share? What is your feeling? Yes, Guggen, thank you so much. I'm not sure I pronounce your name correctly or not. Okay, I hope I pronounce it correctly. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, so how you guys feel? Can you share with me the feeling by just imagining how clean and tidy of the surrounding and environment? Yes, Belinda, peaceful. Yes, calm and relaxing, lighter more relaxed, you feel the kind of freedom in you? Yes, exactly. Awesome, awesome. Okay, good. And happy. Yes, chat, chat link. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so now for, uh, for those who, the, the feeling is great, isn't it? Yes, thank you for chat. Okay, so it's only for, if uh, I actually have this uh, uh, Facebook group. So for those who want to join me, um you can uh you can join me right now i have um i conduct that in mandarin but in the future i also will open up a group uh for english speaking or english educated um friends like you so uh for those who wish to start decluttering their life and for those who are actually ser searching uh, to uplift and transform their life you can start following my Facebook. So uh, later, you, you can go to my Facebook. I get um, Bun Hui, um, one of my team member, to share the link. If you want to join me, um, you can give your feedback. Go to my Facebook um, and write your comment in one of my posts. I'm going to share the link with you right now. So later, uh, later you, can, you can just share your feedback in the link. So I would, I'll be posting how to join the Facebook group in my Facebook page, okay? So um, I hope the session, um, how to say, the, the, the section actually give you a lot of fruitful journey. So right now after decluttering, I'm no longer as a servant to my staff, you know. I have more time, I can do much more activity, I even decluttering my own position, you know, and my, uh, I, I have so many position in life. So I make my life very, very simple right now. So uh, I have more time in uh, supporting the community, uh, doing some charity work. I also uh, conducting more personal development program to supporting life. Uh, I do paid program. I also do, um, uh, community uh, support program. Some of the program is actually um, sponsored 
by most of the successful organization. Okay, so um, this is in the past after decluttering, my house is so different and you can see the energy. Of course, right now, even this big, big house, uh, I also declutter already. So I live in a very smaller space area, but I feel much more uh, simple right now. Okay, so you can look at it, how you feel about the, the energy. Okay, so last time, uh, this house is so big until I don't even, um, I, I, I don't even, you know, uh, have time to spend in different area in the house, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is the, the big house that I also declutter already. So have different, different, yeah, a lot of space for good energy flow. Yes, Mu Cheng, thank you so much. So this is, um, so called it, this is a kitchen. So right now, I have more time to do charity. Then uh, not only have more time to do what I like, but I also, you know, feel that kind of abundance in me. Um, my lifestyle is very different. And uh, even my diet, I also declutter some of the food and some of the unnecessary um, so-called ingredient in my body, uh, the fat or whatever. That is also can be declutter, you know, okay. So I right now, um, you know, more accept myself and um, not only feel the abundance and uh, my inner joy. My inner joy also influenced my mom to kickstart her decluttering journey. That is something I'm very, very proud of. How many of you are, uh, when think of um, the older generation or even your relative, uh, you, you, you feel like, how wonderful if they can actually start their decluttering journey. Can you type in me? Okay. So this is, this is my mom. She also started her decluttering journey and she feels so much happy. And my relationship I, and my mom right now getting much, much, much more closer. So it's so different. Yeah. Okay. So not only that, uh, by decluttering, we are actually protecting the earth. You know, because we don't, um, we don't waste unnecessary uh, vestiges, which uh, might harm the, the, the universe, okay? So let's declutter. 